today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Okay guys, this is the video on how to make custom sliders like as you see down here, that is a custom, that's a slider right there. We're gonna be learning how to make custom sliders and custom icons today, okay? It's too bright, but you guys know what I mean. And I'm gonna switch over to my other camera. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna open your photo editing application, okay? And I'll just give you guys a little basics, just like on my last video, which was custom themes. Um, on all iPod, iPhone, any of these kind of images, they all have to be .pngs, okay? And another thing is that all the names, when you title them, they have to be in the right specific folders, and all the names are case sensitive. So if you mess up like one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, it's not gonna work. And they also need to be the right sizes. If they're not right sized images, they won't work either. So right now we're gonna be making sliders, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna go to your photo editing, whatever, if you use Photoshop, um, a good free one is GIMP, but that's for Mac only, I think. And that's a really good editing software, it's just like Photoshop. So you're just going to go to New, and, oh yeah, and any of the measurements I ever give you, they'll always be in pixels, okay? So the width right now is if we're going to be making a uh, slider is going to be, oh jeez, here let me go back and check, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just checked and the size needs to be 71 by 47. Okay, width 71, height 47. We're going to hit okay. And that's the size it's going to make right here, okay? Now what we're going to do is anytime you see those little checkered boxes there, that just means it is transparent. There's nothing in there. And I did it just now and I did it with a a picture, but it didn't work out very good. So I'm just going to make a standard slider. Here's my rounded rectangle tool. And I'm just going to make a little rect. Just like that. And now I've just got my little button. And I'm going to see if I can stretch that. Just make it a slight bit, slight bit bigger. Oh, whatever. It's good enough. I'm just going to center it. And there you go. I'm just going to save it like that because I don't really care enough. I think you guys understand what I mean. You can just drag and drop and make whatever you want. That's what I made it because that's what was whatever I did last time. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit save. I mean save as. And it needs to be named. This is a funky one, okay? It's going to be named bottom. Bot. Uh, sorry, I spelled it wrong. B-O-T-T-O-M bar knob in K-N-O-B gray. Okay, bottom bar knob gray, all one word, it looks like that. Okay, except for it needs to be in .png like I said earlier. So it's going to be .png file, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and hit save, okay. And here I'm going to just make a new folder, which is going to be my theme, I'm just going to call it sample theme. Okay, and just to make this easier for later when we SSH it into our iPod what where this file right here the knob I just made or the slider where that needs to go it needs to go in a folder called com.apple.telephony everything's lowercase except for that T from telephony T-E-L-E-P-H-O-N-Y capital U-I Okay, see right there? That's what it's supposed to be. It's going to be all one word. That just went to the bottom, so that's just the way it is. Okay. And so you're going to drag this one here. You're going to drag your slider into that folder. And make a new folder called Bundles. Capital B-U-N-D-L-L-E-S. Hit OK. And you're, now you're going to drag the com.apple inside of Bundles. And now you're going to drag bundles into your sample theme, okay? And normally, if you want just a doc, wallpaper, icons, you're just going to throw them straight into the folder. You don't need to do any weird folders, okay? 
like if you want wallpaper you just name it capital W wallpaper dot PNG and throw it in there okay and it'll work so that's the slider <clears throat> now let me go back and now I'm gonna show you how to do icons I couldn't do it on the last one because it was too long of a video so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a new pixels and heights gonna be 64 by 64 okay hit okay and there's the size of our icon Okay. and I'll just make a simple one I'll make it for Cydia city installer I'm only gonna make one I'm gonna use my rounded rectangle tool again and just drag and drop nice size of a rounded rectangle and it's gonna be that same stupid annoying pattern because that's whatever was on there last time and I'm not gonna make it too fancy for you guys I'm just gonna hit save and it needs to be named whatever the name of your app is sorry I just did that on accident Let's save save as it needs to be named whatever the name of your app is so mine's gonna be just capital C Y D I A Cydia okay save as a PNG and hit okay okay and now now that I have those two I'm going to make a folder called icons with a capital I and drag my icon inside of it and just throw it in the folder okay and that's all it is now with your iPod you can open your FTP client I use Cyberduck since I'm on a Mac my iPod make sure it's on now what you're gonna do is I'm going to wait till it opens <clears throat> okay hurry up my IP address change. Here's just a minute. I'll, I'll come. Okay, guys. I figured out why it didn't work. It's because my internet is down right now, and I cannot connect to the internet, so it won't. It won't connect to my iPod. But well, basically, what you would do is you just take this whole folder, okay? And you, you have to have Winterboard installed. This is all using Winterboard, and you have to be on 2.0 or higher. So what you're going to do is you're going to ssh into slash library slash themes okay for all the way back to the root folder slash library slash themes okay and you're just gonna drag the folder directly into there okay once it's in there it'll automatically be on your iPod you're just gonna go to winterboard hey wait a minute I have Wi-Fi it, is it gonna work now no, whatever but Okay, here, here's one of the other themes I'll make. I'll just show you with this, okay? I'm gonna let it refresh. I have a custom slider on it and a custom icon. So basically, when it refreshes, you're just going to... Look, and there it is. There's one of the custom sliders I made. It's just a fist. And that's what it does. It just makes a custom slider for you. It's really cool. Sorry, I can't show you exactly how to do it just because my internet sucks. But that that's how it works and comment, rate and subscribe. Sorry about that.